All right, let's talk food, shall yeah. we? Rice, chicken, shrimp, steak, veggies. <laughs> it's a delicious meal called hibachi. Not exactly the easiest meal to make at home, though. Sometimes. You would know. You just tried making just it tried at home. It, yeah. There we go. Well, how about, Julia, if you could have a real hibachi chef come to your home? Our John Duran found out that this is actually being offered right here in central Indiana. John, this sounds really cool. Yeah, we're standing right next to Chef Karama here. And Julia, we got all those. We got steak, we got veggies, we got shrimp, we got rice, we got onions, oil, everything smelling delicious. Chef Karama, can you tell me a little bit about what we're cooking here today? Uh, we, I got a ribeye, chicken, and just some vegetables and fried rice. And I'm about to set things on fire. <laughs> That's always what you, uh, I guess, like to see from, yeah. from hibachi chefs. It's, it's, it's kind of a show, right? More, more of an experience that you bring to people. Oh, yeah. And how big are the, uh, oh, that looks like the yeah, fire's about fire. to get. Oh, I forgot. Okay, here you go. Take two, yeah, a little more oil there. Here you go. I can answer some questions while. You you did say you were going to set your, your uh, self on fire there. You yeah, weren't lying. Yeah, I promised. How, you just get started doing parties this month, correct? Yes, I did. And, and how busy have you, whoa, how well, busy uh, are you expected to be? It sounds like. This is uh, honestly, I don't know what to expect, but I'm I can barely keep up as it is right now. I'll be honest. <laughs> How many parties do you have uh, lined up? Right now, I'm basically f all booked up for the rest of the month. For the rest of the I, month. There's no more that I can't do anymore right now. But this can run into the winter months, right? Doesn't just have to be outside. Oh you yeah. Can, you can work into the winter. Yeah, I can set up inside, outside, anywhere. If you have a big house, I can set up inside too. Yep. How did this blow up? You said your first party was July 4th. What, what got the uh, attention out there? Well, actually, I posted one ad on, is it, uh, what is it? Lo uh, yeah, on Facebook. is uh, um, Indie Local Foodies, something like that. And then it just blew up minutes after that. <laughs> but yeah, you guys ready for to see a big fire? I would love to. Yeah, this is my signature move here. Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow. Let's say people are seeing this, and, and maybe not this month, but next month want to book you. <laughs> okay. How much are, uh, does it does it cost to bring this to your, to your party? Do you oh, know? absolutely. Um, and you're looking at minimum $45 a person with a $200 setup fee. That's it. But I, it, it might sound like it a lot, but it is a lot of work. It looks like it. It smells awesome. He's going to finish up breakfast for us. We'll send it back to you in the studio. If you want to find out how to book Chef Karama, head to this story on our website. The information all right there. We'll send it back to you. we got some work to do here. Yeah, John, that is the hottest live shot we've seen on Channel 13 in quite some time. I appreciate it. And, uh, <laughs> and please be safe. I think we were all saying a little prayer for you back here in the studio. <laughs> uh, we're just happy that we got through that. Wow, that is exciting. And John, we like was, the steak medium well. By right, the way. exactly. <laughs> I, the chef was saying that that table is kind of the hardest part of the gig. Yeah. 300, 300 pounds, pounds. to move that thing around. I see why there's a $200 service I, charge <laughs> there. Yeah. No Somebody's got to lift it. Well,